Hello students, good evening, welcome to online theory. Let's see today's daily news analysis. So in first news, we see that 47th Chief Justice of India is to be appointed. So President Ramnath Kovind signed a warrant which appoints Justice Sharad Arvind Bobde as the next Chief Justice of India. Justice Bobde will take oath as India's 47th Chief Justice. So he will be 47th Chief Justice of India and he will be taking oath on November 18th. So he would have a tenure of 17 months and would demit office on April 23rd, 2021. He was a judge since 2000 and joined the Bombay High Court as an additional judge. In October 2012, he was appointed as the justice of as the chief justice of Madhya Pradesh High Court. Okay, so he has served as chief justice of Madhya Pradesh High Court. He was then elevated to Supreme Court in 2013. So Bobde was born in Nagpur, Maharashtra in 1955. And he had studied in Nagpur University and comes from a family of lawyers. His father, Arvind Bobde, was Advocate General of Maharashtra and his elder brother, late Vinod Arvind Bobde, was renowned senior advocate of the Supreme Court. He was then enrolled as an advocate of the Bar Council of Maharashtra in 1978. He had practiced law at Nagpur bench of Bombay High Court with appearances at Bombay before principal seat and before the Supreme Court for over 21 years. And later he was designated as the senior advocate in 1998. So, Chief Justice and other judges are appointed by President of India. Okay. So, in India, uh, Supreme Court Chief Justice and other judges of Supreme Court are appointed by who? President of India. The Indian Constitution provides for a provision of Supreme Court under which part? Part 5. Part 5 of the uh, Indian Constitution provides for a Supreme Court. Okay. Article 124 to 147. 124 to 147. Please make a note of this. Of part 5 of the constitution deal with the organization, jurisdiction, independence, powers and procedures of the Supreme Court. The Indian constitution under article 124.1 states that there shall be a Supreme Court of India constituting as Chief Justice of India and until Parliament by law prescribes a larger number of not more than seven other judges. The jurisdiction of the Supreme Court of India can broadly be categorized into original jurisdiction, appellate jurisdiction and advisory jurisdiction. However, there are other multiple powers of the Supreme Court of India. So, appointment of uh, Chief Justice from 1950 to 1973, the practice has been that to appoint the senior most judge of Supreme Court as Chief Justice of India. So, this was established as a convention. But, this was violated in 1973 when A.N. Ray was appointed as the Chief Justice of India by superseding three other senior judges. Again, in 1977, M.U. Beg was appointed as the Chief Justice of India by superseding the then most senior judge. So, these are the important points which you have to keep in mind. So, next Chief Justice of India will be Sharad Arvind Bobde and he will be the 47th Chief Justice of India. Let us move on to the next news. In next news, we see that Neloptoth's Great A. Okay, to honor Greta Thunberg. So, a tiny species of beetle which was discovered more than 50 years ago has been named after environmental campaigner Greta Thunberg. Scientists and researchers at the Natural History Museum in London, okay, where is Natural History Museum? It is in London, have officially called the insect Nelatoth's Greta to honor 
16 year old swedish activist out uh, activist outstanding contribution in raising global awareness of climate change so we know that greta thunberg who is a swedish activist has been very instrumental in raising global awareness of climate change so to honor her the species of beetle has been named after her as neleptodes greatae so this is an anthropod okay this is an anthropod which has no eyes or wings but a small pit between where the eyes should have been it is a tiny species of beetle which is pale yellow and gold with less than 1 mm long it belongs to pitilidae family which is made up of some of the world's smallest beetles this beetle was first founded in the year 1965 by a british naturalist dr william c block in nairobi kenya so the samples taken in kenya are st uh, stored in the british natural history museum in biological terms the name comprises of two words one for genus and second for species namely the species name is greta which derives from greta the genus neleptodes is it is a, a new genus okay on traditional basis it is the species name that scientists coin to honor a prominent personality so let's see a few key important things about greta thunberg so she is a swedish teenage climate activist and a fierce campaigner who began protesting outside swedish parliament in 2018 august 2018 she skipped school every friday demanding the swedish government to take more severe action to tackle the climate crisis very soon her demand was joined by other students later she announced that she would take a year off school to pursue her campaigning she is now a figure head for many young climate activists internationally fridays for future okay so the movement's name is what fridays for future This movement has spread globally where the students around the world strike from school to participate in climate protests. So the school strikes have become a mass movement within uh, more than 1 million young people attending from all over the world and demonstrations in more than 100 countries. So what is the movement which is started by Thunberg? It is called Fridays for Future. So please make a note of this. this also might be an important question which might be asked in exams now let's move on to the third uh, current affairs of the day the first female pm of prime minister of belgium has been appointed and her name is sophie wilmes okay so in the history of 180 189 history 189 year history of belgium okay first female prime minister has been appointed has been elected okay this is in last 189 years there has never been a female prime minister this is the first time and her name is sophie wilmes so this makes this person a very important personality which can be asked in any exam which is coming up next so she is an ally of charles michael in 2014 she was first elected to parliament So Sophie Wilmes was chosen by a ministerial committee. In the year 2010 and 11, Belgium was without a government for almost 541 days, which was a record. Okay. So in 2010, 11, Belgium was without a government for how many days? 541 days. Okay. So make a note of the person who is taking charge as Prime Minister of Belgium. That is Sophie Wilmes. Let's move on to the next news for the day. So next news is about International Animation Day. International Animation Day was observed on 28th of October. This day marks main global event to celebrate art of animation. So the day celebrates creativity and recognizes the scientists, artists and technicians behind animated art including animated movies. 
So, this day was announced in the, in the year 2002 by the International Animated Film Association. This day commemorates the first public performance of Emile Reynaud's Theatre Optique in Paris in 1892. Okay. So, this day is observed as a commemorance of performance of Emile Reynaud Theatre Optique in Paris which happened in 1892. So, please make a note of this. This is an important day, International Animation Day on October 28th. Now, let us move on to the next news which is very important. In next news, we see that government has appointed Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. So, Girish Chandar Murmu, a senior IAS officer who worked closely with Prime Minister Modi, ha has been appointed as the first Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir. So, Girish Chandra Murmu will, will be uh, Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir and he will be the first one. The state's third province, Ladakh, has been taken out as separate union territory and former Defence Secretary R.K. Mathur was appointed as the first Lieutenant Governor of Ladakh. Okay. So, Girish Chandra Murmu will be taking oath of office on October 31st in Srinagar after which he will be the administrative head of Kashmir and Jammu provinces. R.K. Mathur, a 65 year old bureaucrat belongs to 1977 IAS batch, retired as chief information commissioner last year. So, he will be taking oath of office on October 31st in Leh. The present governor of the Jammu and Kashmir, Satyapal Malik, moves to Goa for the remainder of his tenure as the governor. So, these two union territories, Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir will come into existence on October 31st after the sender abrogated the special status of the state and bifurcated it into union territories on August 5th this year. The state of Jammu and Kashmir was split into two union territories on August 5th, 2019 after the parliament approved the Jammu and Kashmir reorganization bill. The move followed the centre's decision of revoking Article 370. Okay, this move was uh, to give effect to revoking Article 370, thus withdrawing Jammu and Kashmir's special status. The two new union territories, Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh will come into existence as I already mentioned when 31st of October. As per Article 239, so Article 239 talks about union territories. So now because these are union territories, these are like state of Jammu and Kashmir will no longer be in existence. They will be split into these uh, union territories which I have already mentioned Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. As per Article 239, every union territory in India shall be administered by the president through an administrator to be appointed by him. So, that administrator is called Lieutenant Governor. So, as per Article 239, every union territory in India shall be administered. So, Article 239 deals with uh, union territories and uh, it says that it shall be administered by the President to an, uh, through an administrator who is Lieutenant Governor. Okay? So, Lieutenant Governor is an administrator, not a constitutional head. Article 239 to 241 deal with union territories and are directly governed by central government. So, it has nothing to do with state list. Everything will be done by central government and it will be administered through Lieutenant Governor. So, uh, for uh, Girish Chandra Murmu will be Lieutenant uh, Governor for Jammu and Kashmir and R.K. Mathur will be for Ladakh uh, uh, Union Territory. Please make a note of this because this will be sh sure shot question in famous in the in the topic famous personalities. Okay, so that is about today's daily news analysis. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be coming up with daily news analysis every day at the same time. Meet you tomorrow. Till then, signing off, Anjali.